This is your lighting and electric blower video. You'll be given the order to place two lights into operation inside the structure. One light in a junction box in the first room, a light in a junction box in the second room with an extension cord to be used with the electric blower. Ensure that you are wearing your full appropriate PPE and with your SCBA in operation. Here the firefighter will follow proper starting procedures and start the generator. Here the firefighter ensures that all electrical connections are tied off and then secured. The firefighter will now gather the junction box from either the cord reel or from the apparatus. Notice the firefighter is using a good coiling method to help with the cord paying out towards his entrance. The firefighter will then move towards the structure, placing the junction box away from the entrance. The firefighter will now gather the appropriate equipment to perform the lighting evolution. When securing electrical cords together, ensure that they are tied off and secured and locked in place. You must test your equipment before entering the IDLH. Here the firefighter is testing the two junction boxes in sequence. Notice again the firefighter secures the floodlight to the junction box and ensures power. The firefighter has donned their full PPE prior to gathering their equipment to enter the structure. Here the firefighter is placing the light in a elevated position and ensuring the junction box is off the ground. The firefighter will now gather the second light and secure it to the first junction box. Placing the initial light in the entry room and the second light towards the room of origin, consider additional lighting as necessary to ensure a safe working condition. The firefighter is ensuring that the cord is not going to be in a trip hazard or in the way of other fire ground operations. Here the firefighter is securing the electric ram fan into operation and set up for channeling.